organic, unpredictable, unknown, lovely, beautiful, a sense of fulfillment. This is part of the pleasures of life and not the chores of life. Today on Daily Iowan TV, a mass of displaced Iowa City residents got some good news. And later, a new Iowa hair braiding law. All that and more coming up, Daily Iowan TV starts now. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. From the newsroom of the Daily Iowan, I'm Mason Clark. Displaced Iowa City Rose Oaks residents will now be partially compensated. A large group of Rose Oaks residents were forced to leave on August 1st due to construction. The Iowa City City Council voted 5-2 to two in favor of compensating each displaced resident $250. These former Rose Oaks tenants will be receiving letters notifying them to accept the compensation. There are a lot less hoops to jump through for anyone with the desire to become a hair braider in Iowa. A new hair braiding bill just became a law. Previously, hair braiders were required to take 2,100 hours of continued education. The new law exempted that, but wanted to require hair braiders to take an annual class and remain under direct jurisdiction of the Department of Health. Iowa Governor Branstead vetoed both new requirements, giving hair braiders even more newfound liberty than expected. Now let's take a look at your weather. Today you can expect partly cloudy conditions all day with a high of 88 and a low of 70. You may see possible thunderstorms or stray showers day and night. Looking into Thursday, make sure to pack your sunscreen. It looks like you will have mostly sunny skies with a high of 91 and a low of 71. Moving into the night, there is an 80% chance of rain with potential thunderstorms. The University of Iowa student government announced their new plans for students' mental health and inclusion. They would add four new counselors to the student counseling service, and they are working on a peer counseling program to not only listen to students, but to help students solve their personal issues. UISG officials also proposed a campus tour program for international students to create a welcoming environment. UISG President Rachel Zuckerman and other leaders realized international students didn't have the same campus tour opportunities national students have had. Before we leave, we'd like to announce athletic scholarly news. The College Gymnastics Association appointed eight UI men's gymnastics student athletes as All-American Scholar athletes for the 2016 season. Student athletes must work around their busy schedules to maintain a grade point average above a 3.5 for first team and between a 3.2 and 3.499 for second team. That's all we have for you today on Daily Island TV. Be sure to check out our website, dailyisland.com, for all the latest news. For Daily Island TV, I'm Mason Clark. Have a great day, everyone.